All right, so when I come home, my first stop, and sometimes only stop, is Home Cut Donuts, the greatest donut on the planet, in my opinion. I've put it on the show before. My sister is actually here today with my niece, yeah. Katie and Evelyn. <laughs> she likes chocolate. <laughs> How long have we been coming here, Kate? Since we could walk, right? Oh, or before yeah. that? Since we could have a donut and eat one. Yep, we've been here. This place has been here for chocolate. 50 years, yeah. I think, something like that. We've been well, coming here our whole lives. We went Cheese! <laughs> Evelyn, what are we here for today? What are we gonna have? What is that? Donut. Not just any donut, my favorite, the Angel Cream Eclair. It's finger looking good. Mmm. High five. Oh, crunchy. Thank you, honey. Say thanks for the, oh, thank you. A dozen for the road, and I'm out of here. Bye, Evelyn. Bye. Next stop is a spot that's iconic in the area, Marishka's. They've been here since 1933 and have become legendary for their poor boy sandwiches. My high school buddy Joe and his family have owned the place since it opened. Joey, Maddie, what's up bud? Donuts for you? Oh thanks, you know what we like. Poor boy for me? Sounds good, we'll do so it. All right. All right Joe, this doesn't get old man. Before we eat though, I want to talk about us, like we've known each other since what, we were freshmen in high school? Oh yeah, at least 15, 16 years now. And yeah. a long time, but Joliet's relationship with this sandwich and Cross Hill's relationship with this sandwich goes back to the third, I mean, well, forever. Well, the poor boy started in 1959, and when my grandfather and one of his head cooks, Rose, uh, came up with the recipe and started selling them, and they kind of took off pretty quickly. Uh, the first week or two, a couple hundred here and there, but now, Thousands. Now thousands. Now we're over seven million sold. Uh, Seriously? Sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. Well, talk about this sandwich in general and like what makes this sandwich so special. It's a steak sandwich, right? Right. It's cubed inside round. Cubed inside so round. It's cubed steak. With, that's cooked in the kitchen mm -hmm. with a garlic butterine sauce. Correct. The thing you walk away with, and sometimes more than a day later, you walk away with the garlic from this sandwich. Yes, it's good for Halloween to keep those vampires <laughs> yeah, away a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Since the 30s and 59 since the sandwich, you guys do everything the same. Yes, you, I mean, yes. There's nothing has really changed. You no. can walk in here in 1935 and walk in here in 2014, and you're going to get the same thing. That's, that's what we pride ourselves in is consistency. They can get that same taste they experienced when they were a kid. Yeah. Right now when they're 30, yeah. 40, 50 plus years old, uh, people have come here on their first dates and they've been coming here since. All right, Joe, let's just take a bite of this, man. All right, man, uh, It's you. killing me not to. Sounds good. Look at that. It's just like the greatest, biggest sandwich ever. It's hefty. And it's got, it's, it's nice. hefty. Yes. Like, I got called, as a kid, I got called hefty. You know? <laughs> chunky, uh, it wasn't not, chunky, not, I was hefty. On, come on, don't say that. I wore garbage bags, seriously. <laughs> Friends forever. Friends, Friends forever. forever. So down the hill and over the river, I end up at a fried chicken oasis in the middle of downtown. Chicken and Spice. When I come back to Joliet, I have to stop and get some chicken and spice, chicken chunks. Describe a chicken chunk to me. What is it? A chicken chunk is a boneless piece of breast meat that we cut here, so no two are the same size. Uh, and then we marinate them 24 hours in a, a cayenne blend, and then we batter and deep fry them. Batter, bread them, and deep fry them. It's like a chicken tender on steroids, but it's, you're not wondering if it's like if it's like pink slime inside the chicken tender. It's just like a huge chunk of chicken, right? We try to make it as big as we can, yes. They average between two and a half and three ounces for They're each big. chunk. You could walk in here and see a lawyer behind a fireman, behind a, a police officer, behind someone who works at the tire shop down the street. Yes, it, indeed. It's every walk of life comes in here. And I feel like that's kind of a microcosm of this town. Like, Joliet's really diverse and has a bunch of different kinds of people living here. It is. And they all eat at your restaurant when they're downtown. We're happy to see them. Talk about how you've stayed here for 30 years. We like our fried chicken. We, we enjoy it a lot. I've been blessed so with do them. I. Thank you. A lot. <laughs> We've been blessed with some really good help. And I happen to love what I do. I'm 71 years old. I'm going to look at the day over 45. Oh, get out of town. <laughs> it's the fried chicken. <laughs> it is, it is. So good. I'm going to let you bring me some of those. I would love to. And um, if you just, I, 
I would appreciate if you didn't watch me eat them because it's kind of like a it's kind of a very feral experience, you know? Like I kind of just go all into it. It's not pretty. But I anytime you're eating chicken chunks, it's pretty to me. <laughs> Pat really hooked me up with a ton of chicken chunks. These things are so crispy on the outside and so moist. It was perfect. It was like the greatest chicken nugget ever. These are so good. I cannot eat all of these though. I have one more stop. We're gonna take this trip home to Joliet full circle at the next place. Let's go. Just down the street from Chicken and Spice in a small town called Rockdale, Illinois. This is where I cut my culinary teeth. The building behind me used to be owned by my parents, my family, as a pizza place. We had it until I was five years old. Long story how we lost it. But there's a place around the corner from here that everyone is saying I need to check out. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm around the corner at Tacos El Comal. Okay, and everyone told me I had to get this. Parachas. This is the combo. It's chorizo, pastor, and steak. Chorizo, pastor, and steak. And guess how much this costs? This is $3.75. For, this is like a taco for Andre the Giant. This thing is huge. Let's see if it's good. All right, because I'm going in blind here, you guys. Going in blind. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Next time you're in Joliet, check out some of the places I laid out for you. I think you're gonna leave really full, but you'll leave really happy, like I am today. I got a lot of work to do. Thanks for coming on a visit to my hometown. I'll see you next time.